my name is Melissa. I'm a registered veterinary technician. When you're picking up a bunny, um, their chests are very small compared to the rest of their body. They're all abdomen and very small chests, very small lungs. So you don't want to put a lot of pressure or squeezing on their chest. Um, when you do that, it puts a lot of pressure on the heart and it can make their eyes bug out. So you want to pick, support them underneath their front feet so that the pressure is not on their chest but it's distributed on their front legs and then you slip your other hand underneath their bottom back by their tail and support it and you want to have their back close to your body so that you're providing support to the back you want to always support a rabbit's back in one manner or another. This is one way to safely carry your rabbit. Another way is the football hold where you tuck the head in by your elbow and pick up and you've got the whole body supported on your arm and you can further support the bunny by putting your hand across the back. Um, if a rabbit can't see, got shed ink here, if a rabbit can't see, they think that you can't see them. So this is actually very calming to them because their head, their eyes are hidden in your elbow crook and they think that they are completely hidden and they are very safe and will be very calm. Um, if you have a very relaxed, calm bunny, which I'm not sure if Skylar is, but we will find out, you can again pick him up by supporting his front feet and underneath his tail and then you slowly turn them over supporting them up against your body and you can hold them upside down in your arms um, with your other hand supporting their their neck and their front feet um, to keep them calm but he's not really liking this so we're not going to keep him there very long.